Shalom Yasharalam. Second Edges 15 and 1. Behold, speak thou in the ears of my people the words of prophecy, which I will put in thy mouth, saith the Lord, and cause them to be written on paper, for they are faithful and true. Call Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahushai, Bahashim, Rakahwarash. Call all praises to Yahweh, the Heavenly Father, Bahashim, in the name of Yahweh, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ. Bahashim in the name of the Rachachwadash, which is the Holy Spirit, which gives us all knowledge, wisdom, truth, and understanding of the scriptures through the Spirit. Dwada, Yahweh, Yahweh Shah, for giving us a pure language that we are able to call upon thy name in this laddering time, the true names of the Heavenly Father and Son. And double honors out to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone. Of course, those that have taught us this truth and rule well, that have been laboring for over 30 years, plus the water, the water, the water for all of your diligence you brought all these years, for you're definitely worthy of double honors. And Shalom also out to the innumerable one third, which consists of men, women, and children across the world that have been blessed with the mark of the Tawa, which is exempt from judgment, which is Yahweh Wai Yahweh Shah's mark, all right, that you may be covered in the coming judgment that are getting ready to take place here on the earth. All right, now, um, as the scripture says here, speak into the ears of my people the words of prophecy. Now, the true men of the Lord, all right, we have been directed by our elders and apostles to go into the etymology of words. Is that way you'll get the true understanding of what the words or word actually means as it's not written originally in English. It's either Hebrew or Greek. All right, so when you break down the word prophecy or prophesy, pro, before, phasai, speak. Speak before it happens. So here, Edges is being told through the Spirit to speak or warn the people, blow the trumpet of the things that are getting ready to happen. And it says, I will put them in thy mouth, saith the Lord, and cause them to be written on paper. What's that paper? The Bible, the scriptures, Okay. That, and they are faithful, they are faithful and true, right? Meaning they will come to pass. Everything that's written in the book has come to pass, is coming to pass, and is going to come to pass. All right, World War I, World War II, World War III, you know, all these things are already written in, in the book to happen. Okay, yes, all three wars are in the Bible. World War III is coming. All right, so make no mistake about it. All right, so I came across this video here real quick. Um, and it's a video from um, uh, Redacted. <coughs> it's Lockyer. And um, the lesson I think I'm going to roll with is um, simply you were warned. <laughs> all right? Because um, you were. All right? And um, this video goes into... Well, I'm just going to go ahead and let the video play. Um, I'm going to, you know, pull some precepts, stop it here and there, pull some precepts. Um, you know, and kind of make some comments and some points here and there. But I'm not going to play the video in its entirety. Uh, due to the lack of time, um, but Abarat Tazar will put it into the description box. If I remember through the Spirit, and you you can go ahead and you can look at it in its entirety um, if you desire. All right, so let's go ahead and let's get to this video. Here's a question: Would you let someone implant a microchip into your hand if you would receive two thousand uh, dollars a month? A month in return for getting a chip put in your hand. You heard me right. We'll give you universal basic income, basically. 2,000 euros, $2,000 a month, if you allow us to put a microchip in your hand. That's exactly what's about to happen as part of the rollout of the central bank digital currencies. That's a carrot for them to rope you into this mess. We'll get to that part of the story in a minute. The chip implantation process. Not the corn chip, as Dan said in our chat but a actual metallic tracking chip. Um, but a new report just published this week by the... <laughs> Habakkuk 2 and 3. It's going to be the first scripture I think I'm going to pull. I'm going to actually pull that in the NLT. Because the NLT has a way of speaking in layman's terms, you know, um, simpler, you know, that way Jay can actually understand. Uh, this is Habakkuk 2 and 3. 
this vision is for a future time. Now understand prophecies are visions, right? There are visions that were given unto the men of the Lord all throughout the scriptures <coughs> of the things that are going to take place in the earth before they happen. So you're saying this vision is for a future time. What time? The time that we're in right now, the latter end time. It describes the end and it will be fulfilled. If it seems slow in coming, wait patiently, for it will surely take place. It will not be delayed. You see? So <laughs> this vision is speaking right now, all right? This prophecy is being fulfilled right before your eyes, all right? And they're using what? Bribery as an incentive to get you on board, all right? To get you aligned with this coming beast system, all right? That the whole world is going to have to be introduced to, all right? Which goes into that hour of temptation, Revelations 3 and 10, I believe. All right? So, you know, and there's videos, you know, on TikTok and YouTube, you see Jake and they're talking about this exact thing. You know, if they give me this amount of money or if they do this or do that, then maybe I'll consider it. <laughs> you know, and it's just crazy because the Lord is going to put the spirit on you or you are going to. All right. Because if you don't have that gift of faith, and yes, it is a gift. All right. If it was not given to you, you're going to take it. Everyone claims they have faith until faith is actually tested. And that test is coming during the hour of temptation. All right. So everything is written plain on tables, man. And we're coming into that time right now where it's getting ready to be great, great mass death, man. And you're going to have to have a decision to make. Okay. Let's continue. The Bank for International Settlements explains how our new digital money system is about to work. We've been warning you that this, this was coming for a long time on this show. Also, we weren't the only ones predicting this. Uh, it was predicted in a little book. You might have heard of it called uh, the Bible. <laughs> right. And we're seeing this verse come out a lot more and more lately. All right. Because we're in that time. All right. For those of you who thought the Bible, especially you Jakes, you niggas, thought the Bible, oh, it's a white man's book or that's just or that. You know, well, if you have true understanding of the scriptures, the Bible, you'll understand that it's written in plain in plain sight, the demise of the so-called white man, all right? And all of the nations being subjected under the children of Israel, all right? But you niggas are too simple and too far gone to even hearken onto the men of the Lord, to even have understanding, all right, of what's happening. So this man here is, um, he understands it, all right? And he knows this is written in the scriptures. This verse is being brought out more and more lately, again, as I said, because we're in that time. And what he's referring to is uh, the mark of the beast. The mark of the beast. Right? Revelations 13, 16. And he causeth all, both great and small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads. You see? Now, again, as I said, going into the etymology of words, all right, that word mark isn't actually written in the original transcripts. That word there is actually charagma. All right, which basically is an incision into the skin, which goes into Chirox, a palisade or a stake, something that stabs into you. All right, that it may be a delivery system. Okay, that it may deliver this mark or this RFID um, C hip. Okay, <laughs> we have to watch some of the words that we say. You know, as you can see here, you know, these Eomites, they can talk all about it, but the moment the men of the Lord bring it out and we start matching up the prophecies that are within the book. Then they, you know, give us strikes on our channels. They put our videos and whatnot. But that's neither here nor there. All right. We're coming into that time of the great famine of the word anyway. Because we're at the latter end. All right. But um, again, this mark is talking about basically a badge of servitude that'll be in either your right hand or your forehead via Elon Musk's brain chip. All right. And he has incidents as well. All right. For those who can't walk, who have um, nerve damage within their spinal cords, this mark or this brain chip will be able to communicate those electrons and that electricity between your brain and your uh, uh, spinal cord, which will basically uh, um, um, give you the ability to walk, give you the ability to use your limbs again. You see, <laughs> all these are incentives, man, in one way or another, all right? They're going to package it in a way that it's going to be very desirable to the dead, as we like to call you, Okay. And ultimately, what this really goes back to is total control. All right. 100% total control. 
All right. Uh, for one thing, this new system, this is how this new system would operate. According to them, the Bank for International Settlements, the new reserve currency, forget the dollar as you know it, basically. This will be the new reserve currency, which is how they want to label it and how they are labeling it. This would be used to settle all transactions. As everyone moves away from the U.S. dollar right now, this seems like perfect timing to be moving to this new system. So are they purposefully torpedoing the U.S. dollar in preparation for a global a global new uh, reserve currency. One might wonder, right? We don't believe in conspiracy theories around here, uh, but you have to wonder. It could include the confiscation of all property, physical property. By assigning it, every uh, every item would see, receive a real world, every real world item would receive its own unique digital token. So what do you guys think about this, right? This idea that they could, I'm not saying they're going to, but you know, your car, your house, all of these sort of physical items that need a token process, you have to get them, you have to get them digitally tokenized. This will happen. Make no mistake about it. It's been written. These, these prophecies are faithful and true, and this is going to happen. All right? In order for you to claim ownership of these items, no more selling cars without a digital token. Right, no black market of selling cars. They all have to be tokenized. They all have to have a digital tracking ID to know exactly who owns them through this, what they call this transparent process. Right. <laughs> Revelations 13 and 17. And that no man might buy or sell, save he who, who had the mark or charagma, the name of the beast or the number of his name. You see? Now, like I said, starting with the head apostles on down, all right, They've always knew, all right, that this mark or this charagma is talking about what? Commerce, finances, the buying and selling of goods and services across a world across a worldwide digital platform, all right, which would be the beast system. Okay? These are the times that we're in. It's not Christianity, it's not an embargo. All right, it's none of these things. So a lot of you camps. And a lot of you niggas out there have a lot of explaining to do if we've been pushing anything other than what the head apostles of Great Millstone have been saying from the very beginning. All right? This is a RFID micro C-hip. Okay? That goes into commerce. Buying and selling. As scripture says, as his ways are plain unto the holy, so are they stumbling blocks unto the wicked. You can read that and you know in plain day in, in English, that's talking about commerce. Finances. Buying and selling. Goods and services. Okay, traffic and trade. You see? So it's like a blockchain for the world. Right, I mean, it would be on the blockchain, right? Everything would be, the, everyone would be given a tokenized digital ID. And I'll, I'll explain more about exactly the tokenization process in a moment. But basically, the idea that if you don't comply with this, then we're going to take your property and, and tokenize <laughs> it ourselves. Is the... <laughs> Right, because this is the New World Order agenda, all right? Esau's long-awaited enterprise, which is eventually, he's going to begin to show his horns and teeth, man, all right? And that's coming here real soon, all right? Because he's running out of time pursuant to Revelations 12, 12. He knoweth that he has but a short time, roughly paraphrasing, all right? So he's been preparing this agenda for years and years, all right? Everything is up and running and ready to go, all right? FEMA camps... All right. As a matter of fact, there's one huge one here in, in Denton, Texas. All right. That's equipped fully with guillotines and they're ready to be housed. All right. For those who what? Who don't comply to this agenda. All right. He spe he's been speaking as a lamb, but he's getting ready to show. He's getting ready to come as a dragon, man. OK. This is all gradualism. All these things have already been set up in play, but they just can't throw it out there at you. OK. There was just an announcement that Biden... Matter of fact, here, when is it? Uh, grab it here, you can see. There's the, um, uh, look at this. Biden orders government to study digital dollar, other cryptocurrencies risks. Okay, so this is something that they've already had in play. All right. Fed now is, is was actually uh, uh, slated to be released this month, I believe. OK, where you will have an actual one on one relationship, direct relationship with the feds, man. And they're going to control everything that you every move that you make. 
Okay, monitor and, and surveillance, everything from your buying, okay, your carbon footprint, all right, giving you a UBI's universal income, basic income, all right, and putting limits and on what you can and can't purchase, the amount of time that you have to spend those tokens, <laughs> you see, ultimate control is what this goes back to, all right? Make no mistake about it. But again, this has been prophesied, all right, that these things were coming, all right? And we are in that time now, okay? Because as I said, you know, eventually <laughs> the penalty is just going to be death, man, all right? The pro is the idea. Um, and they won't come out and, and say this, but that's exactly what some people are, are worried about, is that they would take your items, they would take your physical property and do it for you. Right. And eventually, as I said, they're going to take your life if you do not. Revelations 13, and let's go to, up to 15. And he had power to give life unto the image of the beast, that the image of the beast should both speak. Right. Power to the image of the beast. What's the image of the beast talking about? Talking about the first Roman Empire. Okay. Because this was implemented back in the ancient Roman Empire. Okay. So it says what? He had power to give. He had power that he. Salakia. He had power to give life unto the image of the beast, that the image of the beast should both speak, and it's speaking right now, the same way as the ancient Roman Empire, all right, was 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 operating, is the same way America, Rome 2.0, is operating. All Ro America is is pretty much. I mean, I brought this out in camp um, last night. Was um is um ancient Roman Empire with high tech technology. That's all America is. Okay, if you can imagine that or if you can receive it, okay, that's all this place is. All right, and it says that the image of the beast should both speak, and here's the point, and cause that as many would not worship or comply to the image of the beast should be killed. You see? So these are the times that we're coming into right now. All right? You're going to have a choice that you're going to have to make. Either you're going to lean on Yahweh Shah. Are you going to lean on Egypt, that broken reed, that scripture that will that will that will stick into your hand? Roughly paraphrasing, right? So that our temptation is 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 about here, man. You see? Or confiscated altogether if you're not willing to comply. And think of it like a like contraband. It would be considered contraband. Imagine trying to go through the airport or airport security with that laptop that you didn't have tokenized. So there's no digital footprint of it. Oh, what is that? Right. What is that item that you're carrying there? Why do you have that there? Oh, I'm um, sorry. I didn't have it registered with the government. And don't have a digital ID for that item? No worry. We'll take it off your hands. So your digital wallet, your car, your house, your laptop, your phone, all of it assigned a digital token. Inside those tokens would be a set of rules mm -hmm. for how each item can and cannot be used so that each person can be controlled and conditioned directly by the central bank. You've See, ultimate control is what this boils down to. He causeth all, great and, great and uh, uh, small and great, rich and poor. And he's been causing for, 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 the, for, for, for decades now. It's been a slow progression, right? And the inflation, all right, and the, and, the, and the deliberate destruction of the USD is that last checkmate move to move us into this fourth industrial revolution race of technology, ITO, the internet of things, all right? Merging man with machine and so forth and so on. You see, these are the times we're in. Used your digital wallet to buy your allotment of beef or chicken mm -hmm. this month? You're cut off. Yep. So say you go to the grocery store and you want to buy some water. Well, you, 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 you've reached your limit of water intake for the month. So now they'll give you other choice. You go out there and try and scan water, it won't work. And then there'll be a multiple, and I'm just me speaking as a man, there'll be multiple options that'll come up on the screen. You can have either soda, Gatorade, or this or that. But your water <laughs> uh, intake has been fulfilled for the month. And what are you going to do? You see? That is ultimate control. You're cut off. Your wallet is not limited. Uh, your, your wallet is now limited until next month. Right. And by the way, you think this is like a conspiracy theory. The Federal Reserve, literally on their website, loves and talks about the benefits 
of expiring currency, mm -hmm. the expiration of currency. Mm -hmm. And and hey, China's already doing it, in part. Yeah, no, he's absolutely right. China is already doing it. There are actually over, um, I want to say, nine other countries that have already launched their digital currency. All right, plus about, I want to say, roughly maybe 16 others, including China. All right, which basically means that the U.S. could possibly lose the, some of the dominance in China. Now, we know overall the USD is still the you know the, the foothold of the world okay so if america falls every other country that is tied into this system is going to fall as well all right so this ride the race to this um fourth industrial revolution with all these countries is so important that india china all these different countries that are trying to rise russia right because he who controls that fourth industrial revolution all right which is the internet of things basically becomes the new world leader of the world power. And Esau Edom is not trying to make that happen. And that's not going to happen according to prophecy. Second Andrew 6, 9 is where it says what? Esau is the end of the world, which we're living now. And Jacob is the beginning of it that followeth. All right? It's not going to be Moab. Scripture doesn't say Moab is the end of the world. It doesn't say Ishmael is the end of the world. It says Esau. This is his kingdom. All right? That was prophesied all right, by Isaac. All right? That he would gain the fatness of the earth by way of what? The sword, which are killing instruments, weapons of mass destruction, and so forth and so on. You see? So there's a race that's happening here right now, but in the end, it's all done in vain. Art. So there's already limitations and expiration of currency. Mm -hmm. We already have this. And the Fed is openly talking about this on their website. Think this is a, a dream? Okay. Just wait until it happens. Right. Second Edges 15 and 3. Fear not the imaginations against thee. Let not the incredulity of them trouble thee that speak against thee. Right. Incredulity meaning what? Non-belief. All right. This is happening. You see? Make no mistake about it. Matter of fact, let me just uh, slack it one second. Like it, yeah. Um, so yeah, make no mistake. Like I said, this is happening. Okay, as Scripture says, um, these words or these prophecies are faithful and true. All right, the words of the Lord do not return unto Him void, but they accomplish the things that th that they're meant to accomplish within the earth. Okay, when these words are being spoken, things happen within the earth. This is a power of the Creator, man. You see. So again, it says, six, uh, 2 Second 15, 3, Fear not the imaginations against thee. Let not the incredulity of them trouble thee that speak against thee. Let not their unbelief. Okay? Because a lot of people, and we get that when they're out on the highways and hedges bringing this, this truth out. Jakes and different nations come up and they scoff. Yeah, we get them coming up on the common board. Oh, you, you niggas are bugging out. Y'all niggas are waiting for your sky daddy to come. Shit like that. Okay, well, you laughing and joke now. The scripture says, roughly paraphrasing, every idle word that you, sp you, you shall speak, sh you shall make account for in that day. You're going to have to eat them fucking words, man. You're playing, but the Lord is not playing. This terrible power, Alashadra, okay, which was his name in the ancient world, is getting ready to be made known again. Alashadra means what? Great demon-like power is getting ready to be manifest himself again in, in this time. And the world will, he will get his glory, man. Make no mistake about it. This is his kingdom that was given unto him. And he's coming to clean him up shop, man. So keep thinking the shit is a game. Goes on to say, For all the unfaithful shall die in their unfaithfulness. Right. You see, and how is that happening? Chiefly through this MOTB, which is going to come out. This is the last checkmate move. Okay? They're going to be rounding niggas up left and right, man, and bringing them to them camps, man. If you do not 
go along with the get along and ally yourself, align yourself with this B system. Okay, there's no way out of it. Either you're going left or you're going right. Period. All right? And make no mistake about it, as I said, this thing, this chiragma is going to bring about mass death and record level, okay, across the world. All right? Goes on to say, Behold, saith the Lord, I will bring plagues upon the world, sword, famine, death, and destruction. And that's exactly what this MOTB is. This is a plague, man. That's going to bring death, destruction, famine, a food, <laughs> water, supplies, goods and services. You see? The Lord is pissed, man. Let's, the, let's actually let them describe. So here is, after this Bank of International Settlements rolled this out last week, here is their tokenization process in their own words. Just watch sort of the, this let matters. me know if you think that this is creepy in any way. Watch. Tokenization is more than just a digital representation of money and assets. It involves digital representation on a programmable platform, which means that tokens can incorporate the rules and logic governing transfers, as well as the information about the asset itself. Now, currently, money and other claims reside in separate databases that are connected through third-party messaging systems, meaning that transactions need to be reconciled separately before being settled with finality. Tokenization makes all this one seamless operation. Tokenization is well suited to resolve incentive and information problems. Think of an example where a buyer would like to pay when the goods are delivered, while the seller would like to deliver the goods when the buyer pays. Tokenization can solve this problem by executing both transactions at the same time. Right, because we're in that time of decadence, man. Instant gratification. Jake wants it now. You see? So these fake money, this, these tokens are going to be able to solve a lot of problems. But let's look at what the Constitution says. This is the Article 1 and Section 10 of the U.S. Constitution, stating that no state shall make anything but gold and silver coin a tender and payment of debt. This is in our Constitution. So what the, what the hell is this? You see? You have to understand what's going on, man. This is their documents, what was written in, in, in the Constitution. So why are we going here? Ultimate control. Mass enslavement and death. Okay? A second Ezra. As a matter of fact, I'm going to go ahead and get that. This is, um, I'll look at Shasalaki here. I have to get this. This is, I'm going to get that revelation. Um, This is Revelation 6 and 4. And there went out another horse, horse meaning power, that was red. And power was given him that sat thereon. Right, red meaning what? Who is that talking about? All right, this is a metaphor for Esau. All right, and power was given him that sat thereon to take peace from the earth. And that they should kill one another. And there was given unto him what? A great sword. So what was Esau's blessing again? that great sword to take peace from the earth by way of death, hell, and destruction, man. So two real world applications. So they, um, they, they talk about this. They talk about this tokenization as solving these problems, mm -hmm. right? It involves, and it involves the representat representing the ownership rights of real world assets as digital tokens on a blockchain. In other words, you own a car, and that's confirmed because there's a digital token saying you do, and it's confirmed on the blockchain. You wouldn't need to go do title searches and all of your antiquated things like that when selling your car. It's already on the blockchain right? and confirmed that you own it. It's a digital certificate of authenticity. They'll sell it to us as a way to speed up the banking process as he was just doing, as Hoi Shin was just doing. Right now, there are 10 steps in order to wire money to someone. It's long, yeah. This is gonna especially be if you're not using your bank. Like if you're, you know, doing a wire from like Bank of America to PNC Bank, there are multiple steps. 
each bank needs to verify that you are in fact sending the money. They need to basically send a request. So now tokenization and CBDCs would wire money that can ha- can do this in one step. One, right? See, and this is all a part of that. The incentives too, right? <clears throat> Which are gonna want to make people to jump on board, man. They designed this thing, man. All right. <laughs> This was evil genius, man, how they designed it. People are going to think themselves to be in a good case, as Scripture says. All right? But then, but even then, evil shall multiply on, on the earth. All right? Death, famine, and destruction. On verification process instead of 10 steps, so it sounds great. That's how they will sell it to us. It's easy. Mm-hmm. It's faster. But what if government controls the blockchain? And what if the main currency is a central bank digital currency run by the Fed? Right. And that's called Fed Now. As I said, which was slated to be released or launched this month. All right? Cash App, Zelle, all those things are going to be a thing of the past, man. You're going to be dealing directly with the Feds. And they're going to take out what they want and issue what they want at any given time. You go against any part of the agenda in any way. Vote on something they they deem undesirable. Speak on something on the internet or on your own platform that they deem undesirable. You're getting penalized for that shit. And you want to use Bitcoin? You want to use Dogecoin? You want to use cash? Sorry. Sorry. That's outlawed now. You can't do that. Oh, you're using this illegal (laughs) currency? Sorry, you're going to jail. We're already, you know, we already see the move towards trying to get rid of digital currency that's not run by the federal government. Right. They don't like they don't like uh, Bitcoin. They absolutely don't like a lot of these other um, cryptocurrencies. Right. So this is why there is no coincidence why all of these cryptocurrency founders and and developers and billionaires like uh, what's the guy's name uh, TNT and Cullender, um, Nikolai Mushigan, I believe his name was John uh, Forsyth, I believe that's what his name was, something like that. I, they've all come up mysteriously, for lack of a better word, unalive in these past couple of years. All right. So this was all devised and, pan, and planned strategically by the elites to put this currency in place, man. But they had to get rid of the competition. Again, causing all. You see? Matter of fact, this brings me to Malachi 2 and 1. I'm going to grab that in NLT. What sorrow awaits you who lie awake at night, thinking of evil plans? You rise at dawn, you rise, Salakia, you rise at dawn and hurry to carry them out, simply because you have the power to do so. Right. And we know Job, Job 9.24 lets us know that power was put in the hands of Esau Edom to do so. All right? So as I said, make no mistake about it. Esau is getting ready to come down with that slore, that sore slaughter. Okay, starting chiefly with you Jakes, man. Those you undesirables. Matter of fact, let me let me grab that now. What's that? Zephaniah. Zephaniah 2. Yeah. This is Zephaniah 2 and 1. Gather yourselves together. Yeah. Yeah. Gather together, O nation not desired. Who's that nation not desired? You so called blacks or African Americans, you so called Latinos, Mexicans. You so-called native Indians, Seminole Indians, you are the nation not desired. The Lord is saying, gather yourselves together. Matter of fact, I'm going to grab that in NLT. Zephaniah 2 and 2. Gather before the judgment begins, before your time to repent is blown away like chaff. Act now, the Lord is saying, before the fierce fury of the Lord falls and the terrible day of the Lord's anger begins. You see that? So we're coming into that time right now, okay? As it as the beautiful uh, 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 brother uh, Benai Bond said uh, yesterday in the car on the way to uh, camp, um, the door of forgiveness is ajar. All right, it's closing, man. The scripture says, "Act now, man." Okay, that you may receive that. As a matter of fact, let's go ahead and get it. Um, go back into the uh, uh, KJV. Seek ye the Lord, all ye meek of the earth, which have wrought his judgments. Seek righteousness, seek meekness. Why? That it may be ye shall be hid in the day of the Lord's anger. Because all of this is really going back to the anger of the Lord, man. 
These judgments are coming out because of the anger of the Lord, man, because Esau's time is fulfilled, man. His iniquities have reached unto heaven, and now the Lord is putting into play the final steps of this movie, man. All right, we're at the end of the scene here, okay? Matter of fact, I'm going to go back to that second address, 15 and 6. For wickedness has exceedingly polluted the whole earth, and their hurtful works are fulfilled. You see that? Chiefly Esau, Edom. Okay, he spread this whole thing out through the earth, man, and now their hurtful works are fulfilled, man. Okay, Babylon, aka America, is the hammer of the old earth that all the nations follow after, man. You see? All right, matter of fact, do I have that video here? way you know like you rightly put it it is only exploding mm -hmm. and uh, whatever america decides definitely that's going to have an impact on how other countries also yes. begin to look this at crypto ruling that way you know like you right wow that was just a spirit whatever america decides all the other countries are going to follow suit after you see so this is how we know we are at the end all right mystery babylon the great is america that all that got all the nations drunk through her wine, her philosophies, all right, her policies, her religion, all right, chiefly the USD, all right, which was a fiat currency. Okay, so we already know the things that are going to happen, all right. Scripture let it be known the beast shall hate the horse, so nail's going to turn on America, okay, and the least of the flock shall draw them out, meaning Israel's going to do something, what draw America out into this third world war. Okay, all these things are written, they are faithful, and they're true, and they're coming to pass, man. All right, so it will behoove you, Jakes, those of you still running around here playing games, you know, be bopping on a handstand, <laughs> as the elder Mike Kyle always says, you know, and not taking this thing seriously, you're going to be in a pitiful case, man, and you're going to be confounded and put to death, man. Make no mistake about it, all right? So anyway, I hope this video was edifying, and I want to say, call hello, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rechachwadash, Shalom.